In this phase, we proceed to prepare material and equipment indispensable for the laser ablation procedure. In this phase, we proceed to prepare the operating field. We disinfect the target zone. This is the active phase of the procedure. We proceed to select the correct guide system in relation with nodule dimension, position and neck morphology. We choose the most appropriate needle guide system that we mount on the probe. We place the probe with the guide system on the patient's neck. It's possible to have different needle insertion cones on the screen. Five lines exist that correspond to five needle insertion points in the guide system. In this phase, the guide system is placed on the patient's neck, proceeding to needle insertion. In this case, we can see the insertion of the first needle that follows the last line of the guide system. The insertion of the second needle that follows the third line of the same guide. We have the possibility to use five guidelines. It's important to place needles at an appropriate distance from vital structures like trachea and vessels. Now we are inserting optical fibers in the needles. We proceed to insert the first fiber in the lower needle and the second in the upper needle. After the insertion, we evaluate the fiber tip position in the nodule. Fibers are delivering energy into the nodule. We check vital parameters such as cardiac frequency, oxygen saturation. We check the energy delivered for each fibre. In this case, after the treatment of a nodule tissue portion, we proceed to reposition needles and fibres, performing a second treatment in order to increase the volume of treated tissue inside the nodule. At the end of treatment, we verify the delivered energy per fibre. We take out fibres. We remove needles. We apply a soft pressure to the patient's neck. We can see the absence of scars due to the treatment. In the clip, you can see the contrast medium perfusion in the peripheral part of the nodule and its absence in the central part of the nodule due to its destruction by the laser treatment. US images of the nodule in transversal and sagittal plane show the 63% volume shrinkage at six months after treatment. 